Hello, I'm Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon. A frequently asked question regards the incisions that are necessary to accomplish a, a nose job or a rhinoplasty. The old-fashioned technique that still remains popular, of course, is the closed rhinoplasty where all of the incisions are made internally and there are no incision lines visible on the outside of the nose. This is the oldest technique and still very uh, worthwhile for, for many nose surgeries. And of course, there are some surgeons who only use a closed technique. The more modern approach that is uh, helpful in certain situations is the open approach where an incision is actually made across the strip of skin between the two nostrils. My preferred incision when I use this is a stair-step incision because I found that it heals beautifully, nearly universally. Others may go a wedge incision, a few make a straight line, though again my preference is for the stair-step incision because I've had such good success with it. Um, a third type of incision that helps to narrow the nostril specifically are in the uh, alar grooves that are used by the surgeon to remove a wedge of the nostril to decrease flaring and make it much narrower. It's a very powerful tool. Not that many patients require it, but it's uh, pretty well hidden as long as it's done properly. And the potential gain in terms of narrowing flared nostrils is, is really excellent. It's very significant. Well, why choose one technique over the other? One of reason, of course, is the surgeon's preference and experience. As I said, some use only one technique, others use only the other. But others like myself choose and select patients where we feel which incision type will be most beneficial. Making the open incision uh, is a very powerful tool that allows the surgeon to see the structures within the nose as they lie naturally in, in their normal anatomy, rather than pulling on them and distorting them to gain access as is often necessary with the closed approach. If someone has large nostrils, more can be seen and accomplished without the need for a, an open approach incision. Uh, but of course, it's each individual surgeon. And occasionally, surgeons will make the decision during the surgery. If they're able to accomplish what they need without the open incision, uh, they'll select that. But uh, one may convert from a closed to an open approach uh, to get the best result for the patient. I choose very selectively between the two procedures depending upon the individual needs of the patient. Uh, I, it is easier to uh, see the anatomy, as I mentioned. It's easier to suture cartilage grafts in place or place sutures uh, that modify the cartilage, especially in the tip area, uh, with the open approach. Uh, with the slight downside of, of course, six or eight weeks of healing of that incision and probably a little pro more prolonged swelling of the nasal tip area. So I hope that answers your question, provides some useful information. I would welcome you to visit my website at www.perlmanmd.com if you're considering a rhinoplasty or nose job. Or feel free to call us if you'd like to meet personally and come in for a consultation at number 310-854-0031. I look forward to seeing you, and if you decide to have a nose surgery, I wish it uh, to be a natural and successful outcome for you. Have a good day. Thanks for your time.